Hi, YouTubers. Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I work with uh, selected batteries, aluminum air, and even the venerable zinc dry cell battery with manganese dioxide. What I'm working on right now is developing uh, gel electrolytes, poly electrolytes, and uh, I'm also working with um, developing uh, thin films such as the one I'm showing you. This is derived from a gelatin, this thin film. So what I do to make a long story short for this video to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I take uh, I take one of those uh, dry cells from a lantern, the 6 volt, the familiar uh, graphite electrode and the zinc coating packed with manganese dioxide under alkaline conditions, basically insulated with paper. So uh, I'm taking some of that zinc, it's a nice zinc surface, and uh, I take it and I cover it in this gelatin membrane, thin, thin film, instead of paper. It should be uh, semi-permeable, that's what I'm studying. And uh, of course, this is a bench scale. It's not a uh, an engineered product by any means. I have a plastic weight dish. I have the zinc inside of that membrane, and that is then lathered with a paste that I make. And this paste is derived from manganese dioxide, and that is mixed with. A composite which is made from chitosan, insect exoskeleton, uh, chitin, which is hydrolyzed in this case to a very large degree to the free amino group, so it's chitosan. Chitosan is then mixed with starch, carbomethoxy, uh, carbomethyl, carboxymethyl. In other words, chloroacetic acid, I'm putting on a two-carbon uh, carboxylic acid group. So I'm modifying water-soluble starch, and I'm preparing the uh, carboxymethyl starch derivative. Then those two are brought to homogeneity over 24 hours in a shaking bath and 2% acetic acid. And when homogeneous, I then uh, take it, bring it to pH 10, and I drop in the manganese dioxide. A gel forms, a gel-like paste. And that's what I'm coating the membrane with. So what I have is the zinc. And I've got the manganese dioxide with, under alkaline conditions, with the gel and the manganese dioxide. And that is coated on the outside of that membrane and I'm getting 1.38 volts. What I want to see is how the internal resistance holds up. I have a meter for that and I'll be uploading YouTube videos but I will be monitoring the internal resistance which is going to give me an indication of whether this paste gel polyelectrolyte will work. Now under alkaline conditions I should have a pH 10, a sizable amount of amino free free base uh, amino groups on the chitosan, but the carboxylic acid should be predominantly or almost essentially all carboxylate based on the pKa of about 4.76. So what I have right now in this paste is a polyanion electrolyte and uh, I am getting a decent 1.38 volts and I want to see over the next few days exposed to the atmosphere as the water from the gel is lost if uh, this potential holds up and more importantly the current. Let's do a short circuit and right now I'm at 200 milliamp scale and I'm off scale so I've got more than 200 milliamps right now of current from this freshly prepared battery and uh, I'll take it back to an open voltage and that's not bad 1.36 that's not bad at all. And I suspect that that will slowly climb back to 1.37, 1.40 range. But uh, 
what we'll see if we still can draw a current from this as the gel polyelectrolyte loses moisture but it should lose water very slowly we're at 1.37 now so it's going to slowly go back to equilibrium and the main thrust here is the membrane from the gelatin and uh, it's definitely definitely allow uh, right now the zinc to come in contact uh, with the gel and that's where we're at right now so we've got it insulated and uh, from the membrane from uh, the uh, manganese dioxide and I have a little piece of graphite in there as electrode I don't know if you can see it so that's where we're at right now and it's holding steady at 1.37 volts so we'll see tomorrow what it's like I'll, up, I'll upload my results and uh, yeah so that zinc is an insulated by this membrane which is important and uh, we expect that the alkaline conditions then uh, will complete the circuit and uh, it'll be interesting to see exposed to the atmosphere if this potential is showing up in a week. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.